Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Power Signs plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin where you can create these signs where you can pay to use a redstone signal to, for example, open a door. And if we look at this one here, it is $10, but I don't have any money at the moment. So I'm just going to use the essentials command to give myself um, some money so I can use this. And once we have done that, we can right click it and then it will briefly power the redstone and the door will open for a second. You can see in chat that it will tell the person who owns the sign that we actually used it, which is obviously myself. And you should note that the block below the sign will turn into a redstone block in order to power it. So we've got another one here, which just creates a firework. As you can see, this one costs $50. And on the third line, you can write a description, whatever you want. So I've just written firework on there. So those are a couple of examples that um, I've created. If we do forward slash PS help, that's gonna show us the help command. And what it's gonna do is just give loads of helpful information when you hover over each of these different sections, just telling you how to do various things if you get confused, which is really awesome. So that is what you do if you need more help. But let's go ahead and create one of our own. So I've got some TNT over here, and what we're gonna do is set up a redstone trail. And then we're going to want to make sure we put a block below the sign so it actually powers it. And then on the sign we put signal in square brackets. On the second line it's going to be our name. On the third line is a description, whatever you want. And the fourth line is going to be the cost. So it's going to cost $100. If we right click, the gold block turns to a redstone block briefly, sets off the redstone signal and kaboom, we have all of our TNT going off. And then in chat, you can see LT Jim used our TNT sign. So that is the plugin. It's very simple, but it's very awesome. Let's head over to the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. And as you can see, there is a config.yml, a local folder, which has the languages in and a signs.json. So if we go into the config.yml, there's not much in here, but there's a few things we can change. So it tells you everything here, which is very useful. So we've got the version, don't change that. We've got the language, which you can change to one of the other ones if you want. We've got the cooldown in seconds, then the power duration. So how long will the signal last for? So it's one second by default. Then the confirmation. So if the price of the sign is above 5,000, for example, it will ask you to confirm that you actually want to buy it and it wasn't an accident. So you can change this value to whatever you want and you can obviously set this to true or false. And then we have exclude worlds, so you can set any worlds that you wouldn't want this in, such as a creative world, for example. And then the limit, so do you want players to have maybe a maximum of five, um, for example, or if it's minus one, then it's going to be unlimited. So that is the config.yml. If we jump into the local folder, you can see there's a couple of other languages here, as well as English. And if we just go into this, you can see we've got all of the things that will pop up in chat, um, lots of color codes, we've got the prefix here. So you could change this if you wanted to, but there's no real need to. And then if we head over to the Spigot page, you can see it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft. And there's lots of information here, are your permissions. So obviously you give these permissions to players you want to be able to create them and obviously use them. And if you need any help, contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.